All right, all right. Thank you, the Lord, for so much. Coming back once again. Hope everybody's still doing well. Giving a shout-out to you, Joshua. This will be my part two on Judas. Your question was, do I think Judas loved Jesus? That's an easy question for me. Yes, I believe Judas loved Jesus. Now, I know most people won't agree with that, but that's cool. This is just me in this video, bro. This is the way I take the scripture. I'm not looking for folks to agree with me on this in so many ways because I have a whole different outlook on a lot of things in the Bible. And when it comes to Judas, I see the story a little bit different. Yes, Judas done what he done. Now, we know the story already. But remember, let's back up for a moment. Jesus already knew one was going to betray him. He said it. He said it. Remember the son already knows everything. He knew one was going to betray him. And when I look a little bit deeper into that story, I said, Jesus, I know Jesus loved Judas. Jesus chose. He chose his disciples. And Yes, Judas sold Jesus off for those 30 pieces of silver. But see, here's the thing. Judas wasn't the only one having a hard time believing who Jesus was. Remember, quite a few of the disciples had left Jesus. They had doubts. That's why I said in my old video, it's a lot of people act just like Judas. He sold them off, but here's the thing. Judas was sorry for what he done. Now, when you look at the story very closely, yeah, he hung himself. But the 30 pieces of silver he did not take with him. He threw it right back at them on the ground, I believe. And he hung himself. So to me, it really wasn't about the money in so many ways. Now, we could say it was, but I even think about Thomas. Remember, Thomas said, I got to touch him. I got to feel him. I need to know. I need to be able to see him and know that this is him. They all had, a lot of them had doubts of who Jesus really was. Judas thought what he was doing was right. Let me back, back up to Paul before he was converted over when he was Saul. Saul actually thought what he was doing was right. He was killing up Christians, persecuting them, putting them in prison because he thought what he was doing was right. And he did it, and he did it well. But see, once Paul, when he got converted over to Paul, when he got knocked down on that Damascus road, he learned the truth. And he never went back to being a persecutor. Well, Judas was so sorry for what he done. Judas couldn't live with that. Judas hung himself. And you know what I look at also now? This is just me and my spiritual mind. If Judas didn't do what he did, I don't think I'd be sitting here right now. Now, that might not make sense to a lot of people. Somebody, some, I heard one minister say, I'm glad Judas did what he did. And I caught what he meant. But you got to understand that. But I'm not going to go into details about that, but I look at that story different. Yes, Judas loved Jesus. Now, let's fast forward to nowadays. How many of us walking around here claiming that we love Jesus, and then we look at some of these preachers, and they trying to sell Jesus? They trying to sell salvation. Can we keep it real? Judas sold them off for 30 pieces of silver. Now, we got some preachers in the pulpit <laughs> selling salvation. So what are they doing different than what Judas was doing? Some of these preachers just about getting paid. That's why when I looked at Judas in the long run, it wasn't so much of the 30 pieces. It wasn't so much of that silver, was it? Because he wouldn't have threw it back at them. He didn't take nothing with him when he went, when he went hung himself, did he? See, that's why I said Judas really did love Jesus. Yes, he did. But see, this is where your faith come in at. 
I got to see it to believe it. See, first of all, you should already believe it before you see it, if that makes sense to you. But we got to see it to believe it. That's what was wrong with quite a few of the disciples. That's why when Paul learned, when, when he was converted over, he knew, he knew, he knew better then. And you wonder why Paul could speak about this and the disciples don't agree with it. But when the disciples literally walked with Jesus right there, they walked with him. Paul didn't walk with Jesus like that. Paul saw the light on that road, that Damascus road, but the disciples, I'm talking about one-on-one, -on -one, right there. And they still doubted Jesus. So was really Judas that worse than the rest of them? Because he sold them off? What about Peter when he denied Jesus? Mm. I'll leave on that. God bless you.